Therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not of more value than they which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow they neither toil nor spin and yet i say to you that even king solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these now if god so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you o you of little faith therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for after all these things the gentile seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things but seek first his kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day is its own trouble do not be afraid of man for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell are not two sparrows sold for a one copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will but the very hair of your head are all numbered do not fear therefore you are of more value than many sparrows i am the good shepherd the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me and i give them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand come unto me all those who are weary and tired and i will give you rest